Now this is a video I've been meaning to do for a while with the if and while statements. So let's quickly jump into it and look at the if statements first of all. So if I do an if slash not, basically asking the question if this does not exist and then providing a do statement, in this case a write host hello world. But I can also use this in a different way, as you can see using the exclamation mark. Now if we give it a value so that when we do a if it will actually exist, we can then also do an else. So the else provides us with the alternative in the case that there is an actual uh, existence of our exist variable. So with that done, let's move on. So apart from else, you also have the else if statement. So as an example, we know that we are already have a variable called exists and its value is one. So it's not going to have the not statement anymore. So we'll use an else if to catch it. So in this case, we're going to write out a similar statement to what we had before, but we're going to add in an else if and say, if in this case, our variable happens to be value one, then do the following. In this case, write out to host the following statement. Now I can still include an else statement in case the first two are not matched so that I still have a final statement in case something is not to the liking of the previous two. And I can use multiple if else's so I could have three, four, five, 25, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna change it and just prove that we then have the output for the, the last catch or if it's nothing, I get the first one again. So we can see that there are multiple ways of doing if statements. The same applies to do slash while statements. So I can say do, in this case, write host, uh, sleep for a period of time, and then update the variable with a value. So we're doing increments here. And at the end of it, say while this value is less than, and in this case, we're gonna say four, then it'll just repeat it. So in this case, it's going to type out hello world four times, and once the four times have completed, it will finish. Simple enough, really. But there is more than one way of doing this. So we can use do, but we can also use uh, other variations of this, and that's what I wanted to demonstrate here. So just as an example, we can go back, we're gonna make a couple of adjustments, and instead of using uh, the do command, we're going to use the while command. So in this case, while, and then we specify what it is that we want. So in this case, uh, the, again, the same value, so it's less than four, which immediately finished because I forgot to reset the variable. So let me just quickly change that and we'll set the counter back down to zero and then run again. So again, same principle as before, it'll run four times and we see we didn't need to use the do statement. There is also the similar one with do, but instead of having while, you can use also until. So until has exactly the same properties in this respect. So you have the option to use all three of these. They're entirely up to you as to what you feel comfortable using. Personally, I find that the while statement is more than adequate for what I do and it saves me going through. But from a pure readable point of view, the do while or do until may be better suited for you in terms of you feel more comfortable with it. Hopefully I've demonstrated that there's more than one way of doing things and that about wraps up this video. So if you like us, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and subscribe for more content.